you start to walk with God. You start to change your life. And, and now people are looking at you because they know you've attended Celebrate Recovery. And although you may have been criticized for it at, at one point, you're now being honored because they're seeing that you were the first person to do that. So I include every week Celebrate Recovery into your message notes, into your bulletins. Because maybe for that day, one of you might decide, I'm going to go celebrate recovery that week. And we made it easy. We gave you the closest locations, which one is on Tustin Avenue, North Tustin Avenue Calvary Church. They meet on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. It takes courage to go against the grain. When nobody here is doing it, you be the one to do it. There's a story to tell with that. So that's one way you can be courageous. Another way you can be courageous is you maybe contact your family members that you haven't talked to in many, many, many years. Maybe it's been far too long. Maybe there was a disconnect or something and you haven't talked to them in a long time. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you, right? Well, it takes courage to make the first contact, right? To break the ice and we want to help with that. So tear the bottom part off and if you'd like to have a video recorded message of yourself, we'll send it to your family members as an icebreaker. We've done that a few times. We'd be honored to do it for you today. Or below that is if you'd like us to call somebody on your behalf and be that reconciliation, be that advocate for you. We can do that. We can be the peacemaker. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. We love to be the peacemaker in your relationship with your family member. So that's how you can, those are some ways you can be create courageous. But there's a couple other ways before we call our testimony up here. The action plan. I want you to make yourself a little journal. I want you to start by writing some instances when you actually did stand your ground. When you stood, when you were courageous and you did the right thing in a culture that wasn't. Did you suffer consequences? Go in detail about what you what you went through. If yes, would you do it again? Did you feel God's presence? Maybe there was a, a Bible verse that, that you cooked, uh, held close to you. Keep the journal active and add it to add to it as you face more tests. You're going to get more tests. You're going to get tempted. You're going to get pressured to conform. So I want you guys to remember these stories and I want you to remember how God is helping you through these difficult times. So with that said, let's call up Willie. Let's hear for Willie as he gives us his story. Let's hear for Willie. Willie, Tata. Can I sing a couple songs? Can I sing a couple songs? Yeah. No way, man. No, no, no. I asked Chris. Chris. No? No, of course. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a joke. When somebody says 